Hello, everyone. Good evening and welcome to What You Need to Know. I am Sybil Wilkes and uh, this is Thursday. It's our, our end of our work week, so to speak, uh, for the What You Need to Know newsletter. We put it to bed and it will be in your email box tomorrow morning. Um, the What You Need to Know newsletter is our extenuation of the Tom Jordan Morning Show, where we talked about stories that pertain to the African-American community. And now we have taken it uh, to a newsletter form as well as to uh, this online service of uh, our Facebook Live and YouTube Live show. Uh, would you like to perhaps subscribe to the What You Need to Know newsletter? Please do. Go to SybilWilks.com. That's Sybil like the crazy girl, Wilks like John Wilkes Booth. And it is free, <laughs> absolutely free. That's the name my parents gave me, Joe Madison. And I, I stuck with it hey, this whole time. <laughs> you, might, you might be related. <laughs> you know what? After watching you on Finding Your Roots, you're oh, very right. God. You're very right. You're very right. Oh, man, was that a surprise? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we will talk to this man, and, and you hear that voice, and you know the name, and it is the Black Eagle. He is the one and only Joe Madison. You hear him every morning on Urban View Radio, XM Radio, and that is Channel 126, The Joe Madison Show. Good evening and welcome. It's such a pleasure to have oh, you. Oh, you know, I so I was telling George this morning because he was kind enough. Wait a minute. This, this man woke me up last <laughs> night. I have, I'm usually in bed about this time because you, you, well, you did yeah. it for years. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's 3, 8, 7, 30, 8 o'clock. So I, I, George wakes me up. Uh, I'm going to be on Tre uh, Trevor Noah's show. I, and I'm like, man, it is damn near midnight. And, and, but you know, because it's my, that's my man. That's my main man. And I'm so glad I woke up because the two of them, I'll be honest, were brilliant. And, okay. and they really were brilliant. It's like watching, you know, two really intelligent comedians. Mm -hmm. um, you know, do their thing in a way that, 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 and it just sort of, so, so I almost couldn't go back to sleep, but George came on this, this morning, but I told him how much I miss seeing you. Uh -huh. And I reminded him of, of a couple of times that we used to spend in the white house. That's right. Remember yeah. we'd had yeah. those right. meetings with Obama yeah. cause he yeah. wanted to know There's that long table yeah. and, and all of us were gathered and, around and, him. and he would sit there and, and what, well, what should I do? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing <laughs> right? Man, he had, he had a rough audience. And I'll tell was, you. And that was you and Tom Joyner and and the uh, Black Eagle leading us, and 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 well, Reverend Al Sharpton. And, and, yeah, 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 absolutely. And absolutely. I and I must say, I have not been invited to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm right and, there with you. And and I want to tell you, I wore my shirt just for you and and. Nice. Uh, nice. I, I I started selling these shirts, George. I started picking up from what you, I learned you from you. Wallace, yeah. Those suckers sold out and in two weeks <laughs> but thanks for having me i know oh, really so god bless you guys thank you so much i as, as i tell you all the time I'm such a fan and i just love your work and i am just a a, a talk radio junkie and okay. so I look to you is 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 just it's everything for me. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm the fan. I mean, it, I, I mean, I really am. I, 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 I'm of both of you. I mean, you know, I mean, it's I, yeah. my my um, my friends think I'm cool because I know you and, and George. <laughs> and, you know. Your friends should get out more often. <laughs> no, they, they think I'm they think I'm cool. They really do because you know George Wallace and so. That's on. right. So, yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah. I know him. So yeah. we do know George Wallace and George Wallace, you were, as, as Joe Madison said, you were positively brilliant last night. You it were, man. So much fun to watch you on with Trevor Noah. And it was, it was, it was like music. You know, you guys were, you know, were playing each of your instruments, your comedic instruments. And it was really, it was yeah. great. It was and, everything. And the respect that what I really appreciated uh, yeah. was the respect that a young comedian who's yep. hot as he's, he's hot. But yeah. the respect that and, and deference that he gave yeah. you um, was is what I always uh, appreciate because a lot of times these young comedians they think comedy started with them, 
<laughs> and and right. uh, and uh, I I so uh, I so appreciated uh, appreciated that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, and why and why was he on the Trevor Noah show last night, the Daily Show with Trevor Noah? Yes, yeah, yeah. You got it. You yeah, got man. it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I, you got your book. I'm so glad. To, uh, well, I, I'm not going to talk. You guys are doing really good. No, you got no, man. No, you, you I ordered it. mine this morning after the show this morning. I, there I you was, go. There I you thought go. he would send me one at least, but I, I said to hell, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> all the black people, all the black people. See, Can I you know. send me a book? <laughs> to all the black people. I need a signed copy. All the black people. But this one, can I get some for free? What's my name on the bottom of the list, George? I ain't got no money, Wallace, okay? I ain't got no money. Buy the book. You know what I'm doing, Sybil. What's that, George? The book is 1995, right? And yes. as you can see, it's quality. It's a quality book, okay? Yes, yes. But if you buy five, I charge you $120. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy five. You be thinking. <laughs> I, have, I, have, um, I have a hard cover, cover coming for you guys, okay? okay? So it's just off the press. Actually, I have one, maybe two books, and it's most of the, uh, the most of the books are in Las Vegas at my fulfill, fulfillment center because I'm doing all of the money myself. It's coming georgewallace.net and Sybil. Yes, sir. Uh, they say the phone is ringing off the hook. Well, I never understood that because if the phone were off the hook, it wouldn't be ringing. So I never understood <laughs> shit like that. Okay. But the numbers are the numbers are crazy, Sybil. The numbers are crazy, and good. I'm What's so that? happy to do bull tweet and whatnot. And I, I, you know, I talk so much. I, was, I wanted to say bull, you know, but, but you know, and bull tweet is catching on now, and everybody's using the phrase. That's bull tweet right there, man. So I'm getting used to it. But I really enjoy. It. Let me tell you something about Trevor. I had never met him, and you know, I know everybody, right? But I had never met him, but I had admired him since the first day he hit America because we had just gotten back, I think, from South Africa. And I'm going, who the hell is this little guy? And you just love him. He just looked like one of those guys that this, this got it. You know, and pretty soon we'll be having dinner. I can hear him now going, shut up, George. You know how we talk so people don't understand. You know what I'm talking about. And I just I always wanted to meet him. Last night was the first time. And I tell you wow. what, it was wonderful and it was powerful. I don't know what I did. I got off the air and I told everybody I never mentioned the book, so I was in another zone. Well, I you know, you did. I you know, had, it was mentioned four times. So. Yeah. But, but you, but but the key thing is something. I think the reason Sybil is successful, you're successful, is somebody once said to me, the 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 people who are really successful. They have three things going for them. One, they're authentic. Mm. Two, they're original, and three, they're daring. Mm. And uh, I'm not named, but but you know, um, and I've had people that I've that I've admired who you know listen to the show and I've known over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, but but let, let me tell you, uh, uh, when when boy was Aretha uh, Franklin, because we lived in Detroit together, okay. sure. and and she used to listen to the show and she would call in. And we'd have a conversation, you know, like because we, you know, we talk professional about mm -hmm. uh, uh, professionally. What about this? How do I do this? And she said, "Look, Joe, look, the one thing you've got to be is original, mm -hmm. be authentic, and be daring." That's right. And 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 I think you know that's why the two of you are 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 successful. Uh, I I, I got to tell you, and and yet this morning. George taught me something. I'm getting ready to release. I'm writing memoir. My memoir is now awesome. finally. But you know what George taught me? What's Forget that? Amazon. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait a minute. They might be one of our sponsors. Don't speak too bad. <laughs> That's all right. They can, they, they, look, they, can, they, they got enough with Obama's book. <laughs> they, they, don't need, oh, they don't need my book. But you know, I thought about that. And, and you know, I, that's what I appreciate. He's not only funny, but he's a businessman. Yeah. He knows, and, 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 and it's just these little conversations. I go, oh, okay, that's what I'm going to do then. Yeah. I'm going to put a dot net out there or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, 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 uh, and then when you go to Las Vegas, oh, my God. Uh, I went Mr. Into, Las oh, Vegas. <laughs> you, ride, you ride in from the airport, and I'm going. Yeah. Well, that's darn. I'm saying I'm trying to be nice. 
<laughs> now you can, now, now it's okay. You can say damn. I was kidding you before. You can say damn. You, you're okay. good, Joe. Yeah, but this is a, we're just having a social conversation. Well, but your you language know, is good. Yeah, your language say, is good. We were in my All place. the preachers on here are cuss. Well, you know? the, uh, let me tell you, you know, let me, let me, now listen, and see, this is, I'm going to tell you, this is honest, good, and it's true for everybody uh -huh. listening. Okay, okay, my mom used to say, here comes a lie. This, no, this, 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 true. this is true. So we're doing, we're doing our show from Martha's Venue, uh, uh, you know, Negro yes. Week, Negro Week up there. Yes, right. And, um, and, and, and Oak Bluff, and George is up there at the same time. And so I, you know, I, he comes on the show and I say, you know, I have a curse jar. So every time I curse, <laughs> I put a dollar, you know this, Sybil, right? Uh -huh. I put a dollar in, in, the, um, in the jar. And George had the audacity to say, look, Joe, black folks don't curse. They cuss. I had to change the, I changed the title of the jar, man. So, well, I think we got to do a seminar on this. People say that there was a lot of cursing. There's a lot of cursing. You know, curse a cursing is putting a spell on somebody. We cuss. C U S S S. -S, 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 -S cuss. And, yeah, and, you, right. and 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 one and I was in your in your hometown of Atlanta. I gave a, a at a town hall at Morehouse, and this was <laughs> when we were doing vo voter registration, mm -hmm. and. And, 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 and so we are afterwards, we're taking selfies. And George just mentioned this. I had people walking up to me, giving me $20 for the cuss job. I walk, let me tell you, I, I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not lying. I walked out of that, uh, out of that the hall with over $400 in cash. And most of the money came from Ministers. Yes. Oh, that's great. Oh, I know. Uh, bro Brother Madison, uh, uh, I can't I can't cuss. Hey, and and now, hey, that's Sibyl, one of the biggest lies they tell. That's, that's right. We had a preacher with us one time in Chicago. We went to the national convention in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know this, but Sybil and Tom and everybody did. It was a very, very famous preacher. And I said, Did he just cuss? Did he just cuss? In the church house. And, and I said, Did he just cuss? <laughs> and I said, and I didn't know how to handle that because I'm from Georgia, you know, and I'm just used to preachers being like, preachers don't cuss. And I said to them, if he cuss on the show, I'm going to get up and walk off the stage. We're at the National Convention in Chicago. And we're sitting on the stage and all of a sudden we were off air and he cussed. And I went, I just got up and walked off and everybody, everybody I think a few <laughs> other people just got up and said, he cussed. I didn't think preachers could cuss. Oh, please. I never knew. No, I never knew that. So Look. there was a little boy once the preacher was riding civil. The preacher was riding through the neighborhood on a bicycle. And yeah, he saw a little yeah. boy cutting the grass. And the yeah. little boy was just trying to get there. And the preacher said, what's going on? The little boy said, uh, sir, pastor, I can't get my lawnmower started. And he says, I'm just trying to get it. The preacher said, well, let me help you out. And so the preacher was on a bicycle. The little boy said, can I ride your bicycle around the block? So the preacher said, yeah, go ahead and ride it around the block. So the little boy rode the bicycle around the block. And he came back and he said, oh, that's a nice bicycle. And the preacher was so nice. He says, uh, I tell you what, you're such a nice boy. I'm going to give you the bicycle. I'll trade you the bicycle for the lawnmower. But I can't I, I, I can't get the lawnmower started. And the little boy said to the preacher, that's because you ain't cussing it. <laughs> the preacher said, young man, I don't cuss. I haven't cussed in 30. I haven't cussed in 35 years. I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. I haven't cussed in 35 years. The little boy said, you keep pulling on that cord. It'll come back to you. <laughs> It was, it's like riding a bike. You never forget. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Um, George, uh, we were talking, uh, as we just heard uh, Joe Madison talk about being in Atlanta and at Morehouse, and you are there. And uh, a lot of folks are on the ground in advance of uh, the first day of early voting on Monday. And mm -hmm. um, we are working with Black Voters Matter. And uh, right. just want to know, this, uh, this broadcast is brought to you by Black Voters Matter. And please go to Black Voters matterfun.org for more information. And uh, we will be there next week, George Wallace. Oh my God, you're coming to Atlanta. Do me a favor. I'm, I'm in now, now, where are you, Sybil? Where I'm you? in Dallas, Fort Worth. Actually, oh, specifically okay. in Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah. And your, I, your folk in Texas are crazy. Your you're attorney general right has now. lost yeah. his. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Lost yeah. his mind. Yeah. And you know, I yeah. think why, you know why he's think, I think he's doing this? See, he's looking for a pardon. Yeah, because he's got some serious issues yeah. that might have his butt in jail. 
Man, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying not to put a dollar in that cuss jar. I really <laughs> am trying not to do it. But, but, uh, uh, and, and then somebody want, you know, what can when at, when at Sirius XM, we're allowed to. I mean, because I, I once heard Howard Stern, God bless him, if I ever get just half of his money, I'll be okay. a captain. Okay. But, but. You see um, how black people think? Half of his money. What about an eighth of his money? You'd be just doing fine. It's like people playing the lottery. They don't play the lottery until it's like two hundred and fifty million dollars. Like thirty million dollars ain't good enough for your ass. Play well, for thirty sure, million dollars. Well, I, I can tell you can rest assured you won't be negotiating my contract. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I get, you, I get you $30 million a year, you, your ass gonna be happy. You'll be happy. And, and this is a man who likes to be known as, I ain't got no money. Thank you. No wow. money. Thank yes. you. And he's yes. telling me to cut a half into an eighth. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, but, okay. But let me tell you, because I heard oh. Howard Stern. I heard Howard Stern cuss out a woman on air one time, and I went into the folks of the, the, the man at the president's office. I said, can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he said, he said, no, we don't care. We've got X-rated comedy. You know, sure. we've got all kinds of stuff on. Set. They say Sirius is like a um, a bookstore. We got all kinds of stuff. So yeah, Pretty we can speech. do it. Yes, yes. And I said, but wait a minute. H Howard Stern is a six foot eight, whatever, white Jewish guy. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. He okay. can say whatever he wants to. Mm -hmm. And 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 I'm. You know, I'm look, this is well, I don't have to tell y'all. I'm a black guy. So if I cuss <laughs> out somebody yeah. listening and they call y'all, do you have my back? Right. And he said, Oh yeah, don't worry, you got it, we got you. And Sherry, who was my ex my wife, we walked out of the meeting. I said, Did he just give me permission to be a <laughs> yes. and, and um <laughs> And yes. she said, she said, this is what it sounded like to me. And the white man told the black man, go ahead and say it. You know you're good at it. You yeah. know you're good at it. <laughs> and, and, but then what I decided to do, I'll, I'll put a dollar in the jar every time mm -hmm. and then I'll donate it to different causes. Like, right. you know, like the, you know, Black Lives Matter, the Red Cross, and, and we, We've we've donated quite a bit of money. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure yeah. Black Lives Matter they can send you some money back too because they gotta have a jaw over there. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, but but you know somebody uh, somebody once said, and I always repeat it. Sometimes you have to you have to be profane mm -hmm. to be profound. Okay, you know, and 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 some you know because. Cause they, and and there are a lot of folk, and I thought about giving up the cuss jar, mm -hmm. and I had, the, the audience went crazy. Yeah. Don't do it, don't do it, because these a lot of, they live vicariously through right. us. Right, right. They yes. really do. They right. live vicariously. They may not be able to do it at work. They know they want to, but they but the, you know because there's a lot of cussing going on in Georgia right now. Oh, yes. and and and. Um, uh, but I tell you, all roads lead to your your town, George. I mean, and yes. I'm talking about Georgia. It oh. is very important. All roads oh, yeah. do because we're not just talking about people that live in Georgia. We're talking about everybody in America. You're able to vote again and give again. We need your support, as I always say, both yes. to Ossoff and John Ossoff and Dr. Raphael uh, Warnock. Warnock. It is very. It's imperative that we support these guys because right. they can. It's not about Georgia now. It's about America. Oh, it's and now about it's it about in. the country. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes. You're absolutely. So, if you can do five dollars, if you can do five dollars, that would yes. be most appreciative. I've given money, and um, I gave money one day, but I don't know how the other fifty thousand people got my address. What? <laughs> I gave money one day. I was getting letters from everybody. People did Democrats that a John Lewis sent me a letter. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Him, John Lewis said, get us some good trouble. Get us some good trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see you. It is not, you ought to quit talking about oh, not, not. But, but you listen, hold on to that letter. Okay, <laughs> listen, okay. Is, listen, it is important for us to get involved. Yeah. And because this is going to be good. I don't trust the polls. Actually, I think polls, yeah. I think we need to take a poll to see how many polls we need to get rid of. 
because these pool these polls don't work. Okay, we that we need a new poll to see how many pools we need to polls we need to get rid of. Yeah, so well, we, I'm waiting. we saw that we saw that during the general election, didn't yeah. we? When we saw the numbers and how good they were for for Jamie uh, Harrison, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and yeah. and then then you get this crazy senator up there in South Carolina. Oh, uh, uh, Lindsey LG. Graham. Yeah, yeah. You know, Lindsey, Lindsey Graham, LG. you know, you know, keep, just keep your ass out of Georgia. You know, you got to. How much do you have to put in a dollar, Joe? How much you have to put in? Just one dollar, five dollars. <laughs> you just said ass. Put oh, your dollar. Okay. That don't count. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, hey, how about hell? No, that don't no, count. No, either. that no, that doesn't count. I look. I channel. I, 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 I channel. I channel Samuel Jackson. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you gonna make a lot of money. Oh, I, look. I, I, and I'll tell you what. I promise. I will do. I will donate whatever's in the cuss jar this month. I will donate it to the folks who are sponsoring y'all's show. Oh, I will, I will. Lovely. and nice. so I'll start to. I'll make sure that that gets done, and I'll send uh, at the uh, at the end of the month, December thirty first, New Year's Day. I'll 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 send out. That's I'll nice, send Joe. Out. That's no, I will. Nice. I will. That's very nice. Thank I you will. so much. And 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 they're doing such good work. That's it's what. Just, absolutely. Absolutely. Doing great work. But so people great need to here. understand. You're right. Look, if these two. Well, get into the senate uh, yeah. it's it's it, it, and and james clotburn says this all the time mm -hmm. it's about arithmetic and he used yeah. to say don't confuse mathematics with arithmetic mm. no it, it is about it look it's fit it'll be 50 50 mm -hmm. and that's how it works that means that mcconnell is out as Fine. the leader he's gone and all this legislation that's been uh, buried on the grim reaper's that, desk yep. Yeah. will now be able to come to the floor. And if there is a 50-50 tie, mm -hmm. you know who breaks the tie? She that's does. right, a vice she president. Breaks, that's that's right. right, Kamala, Kamala Vice President-elect Kamala Harris breaks the tie. Yeah. And like one of the things we've been pushing is um, an anti-lynching bill. I don't think mm -hmm. I mentioned that to you. Uh, we it, it has been it passed the house of representatives yep. it's the uh emmett till yep. anti-lynching mm -hmm. bill there have been 280 attempts at getting an anti-lynching bill in, a, as a federal crime in the united states Ooh. and they have failed 280 times mm -hmm. and right now in the senate it it uh it's only being it's being held up by one vote by one vote and that's the junior senator from uh, Kentucky by one vote. They could pass it really. Paul, to, Rand you know, Paul? Yes, Rand Paul. Yeah. that's right. He's holding it up. If they can pass it, but actually what they call unanimous consent, mm -hmm. that's some support, a vote vote. They won't put it on the floor uh, to, be, to be voted on. And, 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 and Kamala Harris has already, and she was the one that wrote the bill yeah. along with, um, Along with Cory Booker, okay. uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, and and Tim Scott came, you know, got got some life in him, um, <laughs> and uh, he, one way of putting it, yeah, yeah, and and he supported it, but uh, uh, it, and and then think about now you've got uh, legislators and elected officials. Look what they did to the sister in Michigan um, when yeah. uh, uh, Cynthia Johnson. Threatened right. to lynch her. Mm -hmm. Threatened to lynch her. And she came back with her own personal Facebook page message. And with that, they stripped her of all of her, her committees. I didn't know that. Yes. <sighs> I didn't know that. Joe Madison, it's in tomorrow's What You Need to Know newsletter. I will, <laughs> I will be reading it. So once again, uh, what's important about Georgia is that we got two guys, um, young guys, and I believe in. I would love to be in the Senate myself because I think I know everything, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with always going with the youth, going with the youth. Remember when we were in college and we were out there uh, protesting and all, we were right. Do you know the youth are always right? Young and the black right. and white kids together. We need John Arsa. I, I hear he's only 40, Sybil. No, Smart. he's 33. 32, 32, <laughs> that's what I'm He's, he's yeah. presidential quality too. And, yeah. and Warnock, 
I wish I could have. I wish I could have debated the lady the other night. I would have oh. eaten her ass up. Oh. I would have said, "Would you look into that camera one more time?" Because you know me <laughs> and lie to the Georgians and lie to all of America by what you're saying right now that I'm a thug. I want to denounce the police. I would have made her say that. Look in the camera and lie and tell the people in Georgia. You see, she's lying to you. She's lying to America, and she would do anything to get into this office. And she wasn't even appointed. You I mean, she wasn't even. She wasn't even voted. She was you a were junior. debating her. You were. I mean, I was debating her yeah. when she had the audacity to say, I will not be lectured to about the Bible exactly. and Matthew, so on. So I said, are you out of your freaking Do you mind? know who you're I, talking to? I, but, but, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I did say freaking, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, OK. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you? <laughs> well, you can always play it back yeah, and make sure it's done. <laughs> but but let me tell you, now you're going to sit up here and insult a man who is, excuse me, Reverend, Reverend semina Doctor, yeah. seminary trained, yes, uh, and and a doctor, doctor. seminary trained, yeah. and 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 you're going to sit up here and and undervalue and underestimate him. Not only do you need to be lectured. You need to be at his church to hear the sermon. Come I on. mean, this was, it was, and it really was an insult. Well, let me it ask you a question. If she, a put show, down. if she wanted to show up at the church, do you think they got a jar there? <laughs> <laughs> a jar in the church, everybody going by, put some money in the jar. Get oh, they, 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 the Baptist churches don't do this, but they'd have to bring out the incense. You know, they, <laughs> and clear that place out. <laughs> you know, that's what they have. What that, you know, no. that's why the Catholic Church. That's why they had incense. Because, Is that what that was for? Well, yeah, because people stink in those days in the Middle uh -huh. Ages. So, you know, they didn't take baths and stuff, and that's how why they had incense. That's what that and, was. And, all I'm about. learning. I'm learning from yeah. you. And mm -hmm. actually, they should they should use that in mm -hmm. the United States Senate right now too. What did you just say? Biden, yeah, and I'm talking to Sherry over here. <laughs> see, so, Joe, she, let me ask you she, this. She won't, she won't come over here in the camera. Look at her. Because Simba, she, excuse me for changing the subject. You're talking about the incense. What about your grape juice? Who the hell come, come up with grape juice in the church? Jesus, he, what he changed water into wine, right? Yeah. Right. And then now you get to get to my church and all these other churches, and they drink grape juice. Ju grape juice. And I know for a fact somebody at the somebody went there and they came up with grape juice and Jesus said, "Who brought this grape juice?" And exactly. pissed him off so bad. He said, "This no. is the last supper." Excuse me, George. This is the last George. Supper. George, That's what he George said. This is the last. Me. Supper. Excuse me, George. That's, Jesus that's, said, "You come in here with some grape juice. You George. just no more. That's it. It's over." George. <laughs> Look, look, brother. I've been I know Jesus. Story. I talk to Jesus every day. George. God in heaven knows I know Jesus. You were there. I, you were George, there I started the off. Wait a minute. Someone said I was there. I started, off, there. Off, I started off in the Baptist church. Mm -hmm. That was grape juice. I ended up in the Episcopalian church. Uh -huh. That is wine. <laughs> okay. So, so don't, George. you know. It, 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 so it, now it, you it, need it. to go to my church, Church of God in Christ. Because we're having church in the parking lot now. You don't know what's in them cars. We got three of one. We got cheese. We got salami. We got a whole dinner. And we got townhouse crackers. We ain't got no cheese. George, way, George, you lining up, you're lining up with Kelly Loeffler. As somebody has just pointed out, you're lying. Just oh. uh, lying oh, on Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're you're lying on Jesus. Did you try? Did you watch Trevor did you watch Trevor, Trevor uh, Noah last night? That's all I do. I'm the most blessed person. I love lying. I just <laughs> love lying. I can tell a lie in a minute. It doesn't have to make sense whatsoever. I will lie and back it up. But I'm still not as good as Trump. No, no you're not. No, you no. got some. It's a 25,000 lies, and people okay. still follow this. What is going? What's in their heads? I don't understand. 70 million people following him. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. look at them. You talk about the truth, and I. He being a minister, a warnock. He should have gone to one Psalms one o one seven. A liar, a deceitful person cannot tarry in my sight and will not enter the gates of heaven. And that's the only person I know. Uh, <laughs> oh. right. But it's true, though. But it's true. George, George, she may not have had a chance to begin with, but she did appear at his church. 
she yeah. did go to his church, right? And and uh, there's a, a photo of, of her attending his church earlier this year, George. Yeah, and then and then she said, I want to come back. You know the lady is lying. Tell her, I would say, <laughs> look in the camera one more time and lie to the Georgia people. You lied to them. You cheated. You got inside trade information. Did you come back? Did you tell us? See, these are things you do. Ladies and gentlemen, this lady is worth $500 million. Nice. Yep. She's not one of us. No. See, uh, if I understand, I read somewhere that she flies back and forth when Washington, when back and forth from Washington, I think on her private jet. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen her. I've seen yeah. her on her private jet. My private jet. I, my <laughs> private jet. I had the big D no, on no, it. No, listen, they, they got to put somebody wrote Delta on it. That just pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> that just pissed me off. My private plane. You know, I, I let a few people ride along with me, but that's why nice. the heck you going to put that's Delta nice. on You know, but that's I, very, I, I that's live very, with you. That's very big of you, George. Very magnanimous. Oh, God. Yes, 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 yes. Um, the, uh, the, the deal with her is not only is she worth $500 billion or whatever it is, her husband <sighs> is the chairman of, of the New York Stock Exchange. Wall Street, come on. He makes money whether you're losing or what. Well, that's right. Well, we're losing. He, 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 in other words, you know Vegas. He's the house, isn't he, George? That's yes, right. he is, yes. That's right. Yeah, that's he's amazing. the house. He, so he's not going to lose. And then... The, the audacity to say, well, I didn't have insider information, but this speaks to the other thing. Should senators exactly uh, trade and stop? Because, the, right. in, in my opinion, no, because they do get insider information that they can. And that's, that's what right. it, that's what the people who play the stock market. They know they always show inside information. Let's yeah. be perfect, perfectly honest with this. Right. All senators and congressmen, they go to Washington broke, but do they leave broke? No. no. It's all about money for them. I got a friend down here in Georgia. He's a Democrat, but he voted Republican. I can't remember his name. Bernie Jones. All... That's my... <laughs> Boy, you messing with him now. <laughs> You really messed with me. I think it's all about money. And I'm not going to lie to you. If I got into Congress and I found some kind of way, I would make money too. But I want to be honest with the people. I really want to be honest with the people. And I would never lie to the people. I might bend the truth, but I won't lie to you. And I just think that was inside information. And the other guy, oh, yeah, well, what's the other guy running against? Uh, uh, Purdue. Uh, Purdue. Purdue. Flat out crook. <clears throat> and he too was accused of, of some of same the thing the same day they did it yeah. together yeah and they only got off on technicality right. i mean that, that's really the only reason that they uh, got off but you mentioned about senators being here in washington one of the things that many of these senators and people don't realize this once they they get out of office very seldom now sometimes they do but very seldom do they go back home because right. they're lobbyists they become thank you they become yep. lobbyists they get they you know they get they, they go to law money. firms mm -hmm. uh, they, they they get they be, become consultants that's yep. why very few of them end up going back to their home oh. district or state that's therefore right. the problem with washington dc and it may sound bad what i'm going to say is too many old rich white men look at mcconnell all of these, they just make money. They just there for no reason but to make money. And it's all about them. And very few of them are happy. Do you see most of the Republicans? They're all, <laughs> they're all happy. They never smile. Lindsey Graham is always arguing. The man had the the, uh, the, the, the uh, COVID over last week from Iowa. Chastity, yeah. what's his name? They're all just mean. McConnell, I don't think he ever smiled. You know, and, and it's monotone. What do you call it? Monotone as he speaks. It's just yeah. horrible. Yeah. They're never happy. And so I want somebody happy representing me. You look at that guy and you say, oh, he can't represent me. So always go with youth. Youth yeah. people, young people, they have new ideas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no question about it. But the other thing, <clears throat> you want them to get in young and, and be able to and leave. Well, well I, now, see, that's where we may disagree. Seniority is extremely important in Washington. Yeah. Because because that's how you get into chair of the committee. Yeah. That's why Lindsey Graham is chair of the Judiciary yeah. Committee. That's right. That's um, right. But but and so you you know there's and remember what Southern uh, Dixiecrats used to mm -hmm. do: Strong Thurmond. Yeah. 
and mm-hmm. and the and all of these folks, they stayed in there and ran that place. It's an right. entirely different. It's like that's the land my point. Of Oz we there. need term limits. Get in six okay. years, get out. Yeah. We need term limits. Maybe two but, terms and get out. Every but, actually, but, and also age sixty five, they need to go. They need to but, be a bus to go to Washington. Every day, if you're 65, right. get your okay. ass on the bus. Clarence Thomas, get George, your ass on the bus. George, That's what, what they need they to do. Their, what if they have that same role for comedians? Oh, Lord. Get your He's ass quiet. off the bus. You know what I mean? I I think that too. I think sometimes it's good to move on with younger people because uh, let's, say, let's say it's with the comedians. Guess what? what? I've had my run. I've had my run, real good well, run. Yeah, I know I'll continue to do it. You, you may not be running, but you're walking, man. You, I mean, <laughs> you're walking you, in a nice You're way. still strolling, you, you know, you, <laughs> and you're still relevant. I mean, you know. I, I, well, that's I mean, my point is that I'm still out there, but I'm not affecting the public. I'm oh. affecting, you know, if they were to do it, say, I'm not hurting people. Now, how in the hell could you be a half billionaire and don't want somebody else to have $600 or $1,200? You write a law and you, you don't pass that law. That's not so, cool. So Joe Madison, uh, I saw this this, this afternoon and I'm uh, wondering if you heard the same thing, that Nancy Pelosi is willing to extend the conversation on the coronavirus stimulus bill through Christmas? I don't think she she has a, a choice. Now, let me tell you what, uh, uh, what uh, Clyburn told me because I asked okay. him about this. Uh-huh. Uh, he said the game that the Republicans are playing Mm -hmm. Uh, is they really are trying to starve a lot of our cities, Atlanta, Detroit, New York, Milwaukee, because in that stimulus package is money that should be federal dollars that should be coming back to these local cities. You remember we used to say that you went to Washington to bring home the bacon. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 but that money is needed to pay police officers, yeah. firemen, uh, services, bus drivers, mm-hmm. and they want to take that off the table. Oh. They that they don't want that money to come back, and so they call themselves. And this is what Clyburn said: they call themselves punishing mm-hmm. the Philadelphias, the Detroits, uh, the big the Atlantas, democratic, of course, the black because city. of the election. Yep. So so uh, and, and, and then, you know, keep in mind, he also said there were 23 or 25 um, Republican senators under McConnell that mm-hmm. don't want to give a dime. Exactly. Don't get I mean, these folks, I'm going to yeah. be honest with you, they're just yeah. evil. How, yeah. how can you? Evil. Yes. They're evil because after Christmas, Civil and, and George, what's going to happen is there yes. may be millions of people evicted exactly. from their homes. Yes. So where are they going to go? That's right. That's right. Where but are they going to go? December 31st, the eviction moratorium that's, is done. That's right. And, and, and so once again, we come back to Georgia, ladies and that's gentlemen. That's right. This that's is where right. we come back we to. We need you. And we need oh, everybody to get I mean, involved. I, I'm, look, I'm telling the young brothers, please, in the barbershops and the beauty shops and the, wherever you are, little guys in Georgia. And, and one of the things I will do, and I'll just say this up front, anybody listening, if you call the Madison show and you say to me that voting doesn't count, I am, I will put $20 in the cuss jar because okay. I'm going to hang up on your ass. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, seriously. No, I mean, really, no joke. We what? gotta know now that voting does matter. That's why you got Georgia to know it now. Blue. You, yeah. Georgia went blue, and it could be bluer if more people were voting. Like we have a county here, Clayton County, at that point, eighty thousand black people did not vote. But that's oh. all over the state; people didn't vote. We know voting does matter, and we gotta get out there and, and cast those ballots. And I hear the numbers are pretty good for early voting already. Yeah. And, and look that? what they look what they did in Cobb County. Yeah. yeah, and look what they tried to do in Cobb County. What was it? Uh, they had eleven or twelve uh, voting uh, 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 polling sites, yes. and they cut them in half. Yeah, they cut them in half. That's and they that's still got the numbers, and they still got the numbers, and they still because see that's voter suppression. Yeah, that's what they, they tried to do in Texas too. Yes, so, exactly. That, like, that's you know, right. That's exactly right. Yep. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Is yep. voter suppression only by Republicans? Because yes, what's wrong with 
Everybody votes. That's just the law. Everybody votes. Because they understand that, and, and they learned it this time around, that, that if they, the only way they can win uh, districts is one, gerrymandering them, yep. and number two, suppress the vote. When Rush Limbaugh, man, you got to get this uh, oh, this thing. God. Rush Limbaugh the had the had the audacity uh, to to talk about, oh, we used to win Pennsylvania without Philadelphia. We used to win. We won yeah. Michigan without Detroit. In essence, what he was saying okay. was, all these black folk came out and voted. That's right. And 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 we then he said, we that. we have to take back the. Now listen to this. We have to take back the culture. Mm. And he said, and you know what's trending now? Uh, if we don't, we may talk, we should talk about secession. Texas, a Texas representative today that. bringing it up. No, really? today, yes. a, a member of the Texas legislature is, has said that they're once again going to propose that Texas succeeds from the nation. And, and the governor of Arizona, Republican governor of Arizona, went public and said, are you willing to die, die. die. For, your, for, for, for your partisan cultural die. position? Yeah. I mean, these, these, you know what, um, I, and, and I'm not putting all this on Trump. These people are I out do. there. Like, no, well, no, I'm not, I'm not all the of it. Party, I mean, those Tea Party guys were out there doing awesome. that before Donald Trump. But he's Trump. really yeah. leading them now. He's really no, leading yes. them now. You're oh, right. yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and now did. we have the QAnon and, and all of that craziness too. Yeah, and one of them's going to Congress. Yes, yes. One of she them's is. going to Congress. You yes, know, she man, is. I just I just tell the folk in Georgia, I, I, you know, and all the 17 year olds who couldn't vote in the general election. Yes. <laughs> and if you're now 18 before, I think January you, 5, if you're you can, before, you can vote election. if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And, and so voter registration ended last Monday and they said the numbers were very good for the good. young people who were 17 and a half and, and just after the election and now uh, before 18 before January 5th. Good. Good were very good for them. Can yeah, we when, continue to give Tracy uh, Abrams props, Stacey, some, uh, Stacey? Stacey Abrams props, mm -hmm. and Natasha mm -hmm. Brown for what they did? Can oh, we absolutely. Oh, bless absolutely. Them for what they yeah. did? I think, I think uh, we've been talking about whether Stacey Abrams should be the chair of the Democratic, Democratic Party. Committee. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she, she, she really, and I'm really surprised, to be honest with you, Time Magazine just put out their uh, yeah. um, you know, they're what is person it? Person uh, of the year. Person of the year. Person of the year. And I think there's four of them that the mm -hmm. and Trump's one of them. Yeah. Stacy. Wait, 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 stop. Why yeah. the hell should he even be considered? Well, because well, he. But at one point in time, Hitler was also. I also uh, remember that. Yeah. 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 And so, but, but, you know, I, she should have been on Absolutely. that list. Absolutely. She really should have been on that list. And I'd love you? to go shake up somebody at Ebony Jet Magazine, say, wake up, let's print our own magazine right now so that oh. we can put her on the cover and make her, her our person of the decade. I apologize that, Sybil, I apologize for saying this. Ebony and Jet, uh, they haven't put her photo on the book on the cover yet. Well, no, because they're they're no longer doing. They don't. That's, exist. What, I, they don't, they, yeah. that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. kind of like I was voted number one Twitter tweeter yeah. at Playboy magazine, and I didn't even know they were still in business. But uh. <laughs> right, yeah. that's that's the nature of the business. You know what, Joe Madison? People are saying that you need to get your rest. Uh, they oh, are right. they are counting on waking up with you bright and early uh, on uh, channel one twenty six. Oh, I'm sure I'm okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, wait a minute. Well, I just this, this, I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to. Wait a minute. Say this Negro to the left of you or wherever he is. <laughs> remember, he woke me up at midnight. That's right. So he, you can watch him on Trevor Noah. So I can watch, watch his ass. Watch. Well, well, I mean, listen, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to sell bull truck now. Simple. I got to inform you just to <laughs> when. Do you want to talk any more bull twit with, with me? These are the online ramblings. Simple. Here, here's how I came up with it. I didn't know much about a tweet. <laughs> Tweetering, tweeting, and I said, you know, why should I give away my jokes for free? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it hit me and said, well, these are some people that will never hear you either way. And I'm glad I did it because I'm doing, they're like half jokes, they're not real jokes. Little things like in the book, like, what, I think one of my funniest tweets is like, uh, 
But shout out to you and your favorite Coke factory. Now, mine is Burlington. <laughs> okay, okay. See, little quips like that. What is your favorite Coke factory? I shout out little things like things I'll straight up and do. You know what I think, Sybil? Somebody should make a candy for sad ranchers. <laughs> The other side of the they, need a, right, right. they need a candy too. <laughs> they need yeah. it. And it's things like Joe. Now, speaking, I'm going to have to put some money in the jar because okay. I did a joke in Las Vegas about six months ago, eight months ago. And I uh -huh. said, I don't play by the rules. I do things differently, right? I'll drink a half a glass of whole milk and a whole <laughs> glass of half and half. I don't <laughs> give a damn. Simple, simple. Some lady in the audience shout out, hey, Mr. Wallace, you know, because my audience is just free. We just have fun. I said, hey, Mr. Wallace. You may drink a half a glass of whole milk and a whole glass of half and half. She says, you may not give a shit, but you're going to take one. She says, <laughs> <laughs> so listen, simple, simple, simple. My tweets, <laughs> my, it is, simple. It is not the tweets that I do. It's the replies. Go to georgewallace.net. It's the replies that I get. Like I did today, I did the top five let, you know, and I'm let. Uh -huh. And and um, I'm left uh, bracelet, all kind of other left. And some tweet was up. How about number one? Let one go. Somebody let one go. So little <laughs> words like that. I, Joe Madison. I did. Shout out to the top five pans in the world. Pandemic. Oh yeah, that's Peter one of my favorites. Peter uh -huh. Pan. I okay. did the pandemic. I did flash out of the pan. And somebody yeah. hit me back with, "How about Mugu guy?" I thought, "Oh my God, that is so cool." <laughs> Mugu guy pan. I just, so the book is really interesting. What do you get the person that has everything? You get them Boy. this book, Twitter, and you get you about five or six times. No, I got. It. I got to ask you though, Sybil. You brought up the um, and the book uh, is at georgewaters.net. I'm not going to let you get through oh, with that. Oh no, that's a, no. I, I'm going to push it tomorrow too. Okay, I good. promise. I, I promise you. But you mentioned uh, finding your roots. So what did you take away from uh, that? That you saw it. I, that's one of my favorite shows. I really? watch it religiously. Oh yes! Oh God, yes! Uh, uh, and and uh, you know, you know, George and I are DNA connected. You know, he he doesn't know that. No, I'm. I'm, I'm not <laughs> you know what? <laughs> tell, tell people what you found out, Joe Madison, because not because first of all, you got you got you got a chance to look at your father, who is yes. the was the spitting image. Let me that that the well uh, uh, look. Uh, you don't have to bring year. up the spitting part, but it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> last year, last year was was amazing, you know, because I all my life I thought Felix Madison uh, was my father, and he was. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe not biologically, but he certainly was. And then, and here's what happened: they took it took five years for them to trace my roots. Wow. Five years, and and uh, Professor Gates Skip, you know, our friends call him Skip, mm -hmm. and he. He, he called me up and said, he said, you know, we are finally finished, Sybil and George, uh, but I got good news and I got bad news. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you. You don't have to do the show and, and, uh, or air, allow us to air it. He said, the, the, um, the bad news is the man you thought was your father all these years yeah. is not your biological father. Oh my God. And, 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 and I said, I said, well, what's the uh, good news? We know who your biological okay. father is. Okay, yes. Now, now I got to tell you. So I, 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 he, I said, no, go ahead and, and let's air the show. Let's, mm -hmm. let's do the segment. I said, the only thing, Skip, I wish you had called me a half an hour ago because I got a cousin on my quote unquote father's side mm -hmm. who just wanted to borrow some money from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, man, I said, Skip, I said, Skip, if you'd have called me a half an hour ago, I could have told that. I said, man, I ain't related to your ass. You know? And, and but and, and, and uh, but then here's what I also found out. I, I had a great I had a great I had a great what is it great great grandfather fought in the Civil War in Gettysburg for General Lee. Yes. For yes. General Lee. And then that? I had another crazy great great grandfather <laughs> who fought for the British during the Revolutionary War. Now he was black, but they wouldn't let black folk 
uh, uh, serve Washington did until the British came uh, said you can serve. So this 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 dude said, well, fine, I'll 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 fight for the king, and uh, and 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 I thought all my relatives were down in Mississippi around the Clarksdale no. area. Come no. to find out, I got relatives. Where is it, Sherry? Up in uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Oh yeah. my! And and because when once the once the Revolutionary War was over, they called mm -hmm. them loyalists. Okay. So there were like four thousand black loyalists that fought for the the England. England. And after the Revolutionary War, Washington kicked them out of the country, and the king uh, the King of England gave them land in in Nova in, in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Uh, yeah, I mean, now, a lot of people don't know about a lot. A lot of black people do live in Nova Scotia. I guess a lot of most Americans, black Americans, don't even know about Nova Scotia, do they? Yeah, yeah, and and well, I, and so I so, but you know, it, it so I found I asked if if if, if my biological father was still alive, uh -huh. and he had wait, died. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Joe. Now we already know you eighty nine, and you go ask them. <laughs> Joe, I'm you're 89. Stupid, Was I talking to you? Listen, you're 89, and you're going to ask somebody, you think my dad is still living? <laughs> and, and, and you know what, George? And, you still call Joe Madison young man. So what does that mean? Thank you. <laughs> and, 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 and as I was saying, yes, uh, but, uh, but what I also found out, I had two half brothers. And, and one of them I grew up with in Dayton, Ohio. How crazy we is went that? to the same elementary school and high school, ran in, in, in the same neighborhood. But you then, didn't know it at the time? No. No, didn't know him. He said, Well, we knew who Joe Madison was, and and because you know, I played ball and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah. but but he we ran and and then the younger brother lived in in Los Angeles mm -hmm. with the biological father. Mm. And he didn't realize until later in, that he was his biological father because he worked with with the biological father and, and they because they owned apartment buildings and things like that and he came home one day told his mother you know uh mr haygood treats me like i'm his son and his mother said you are wow. <laughs> you are his son and and he knew the biological father, but the three of us didn't know each other. And the only way we we that we found out, and so it took so long, was the younger uh, mm -hmm. brother, Kip. He wanted to find out. He, he searched his ancestry, his mm -hmm. DNA, and mm -hmm. the and the and the, yeah. and the young lady. What's her name? CC Moore, who is brilliant at DNA mm -hmm. tracing. He kept showing up. Mm. He kept showing up. And the, I don't understand the full science of it, but that's what led them to say, well, Felix Madison isn't your father. He can't wow. be your father. Here's your brothers and here's your daddy. Wow. And then my great and my grandfather, who they showed a photograph of, was a part of the Tuskegee <laughs> experiment. Oh my. Yeah. And they they kicked him out. And it's on, and they have all the documents. Mm -hmm. They kicked him out, George, because he didn't have Negro features. Mm -hmm. Kicked him that? out of the Tuskegee. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, Joe, but you don't have Negro features. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodnight, George. Say Listen, goodnight, George. It is really time for us to leave. <laughs> so it is 7 it is 750, Joe. It's 750. We're supposed to be out of here. And I want oh, to I'm thank sorry. you for coming no. back. No, no, you I'm have sorry. to come back again. But I'm not going to let y'all leave without me pushing this book <laughs> one more time. Go to it. Call me georgewallace.net. Simple. I can't tell you what happened last night with the cells. My phone went crazy. And I want everybody out here now. And go to Twitter and read some of my tweets at, George, at Mr. George Wallace. And well, I guarantee I'm, you, you will have some laughs. And because, I you can't know, I've been doing comedy. Without this okay, too. okay. We already dumped him. But I've been doing comedy since 1886, and uh, <laughs> that's the true. jokes are up in here. So it's just little things like when we were poor. Well, you, but you you told people on my show this morning you, that you that you were at at, at Force Theater and you opened for. <laughs> 
I also tell you the greatest, God bless me with the greatest gift in life. And just to lie. I love you. I just love making up shit. This is no lie. Because, George, I appreciate you so much every week and for uh, bringing Mr. Madison on with us tonight. So, so appreciate it. So, no, no, before I we go, can I say one more thing? Sybil, you are so you, good. Sybil. I didn't come on. I came on for you. you hey, hey Joe, have a Joe, 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 damn Joe, Joe, you know, Joe, you know I got a button over here. I'll cut your ass off. You know I got a button. All I got to do is hit the button. You lie. Some of you are I so good. Here. See, we, we had a lot of subject matter. Sybil has a list of things we're supposed to talk about, but she's so good, we very seldom get into them. And I want to thank you for the work that no, you're doing. Well, it's yeah, really, well, call really me good. back, Sybil. Have me back on. I'll tell you how I tried to get George arrested. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Hey, Sybil, he's not lying. He, they, he not tried lying. to get me to go to jail in the <laughs> state of Maryland. Sure did. Yes, I did. Well, then we should make that next Thursday. Um, <laughs> Joe, can you come back next Thursday? Any, I'll come back anytime for you and Sybil. Anytime, man. In Georgia. Yeah, I love you guys. And, and, and also want to talk to you about your radio thon that put you in the yeah. Guinness Book of World Records. Because How that many was, hours? 50? 50 something hours? 52 straight hours. Yeah. And we raised $250,000 for the for African the American, American Museum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Joe, do you know anybody at the African American Museum? I got to get in there. Can you get me in? Is Lonnie Bunch still there? Lonnie is head of the Smithsonian, brother. He's over all the museums. All and oh, the does Sybil, do you know him? Sybil, you know him? I, I do know him, but uh, I can't help you. They wanted some of my jackets I used to wear when I started wearing those leather jackets on our city hall. They mm -hmm. wanted some of those jackets, and I want to get it to them in, in that museum. I want to be in the museum. But once okay. again, I can work it out for you. <laughs> This has been fun. So much bull twit today and whatnot. Don't forget about the whatnot. The whatnot oh is God. the good part and the replies. So go to georgewallace.net. Do that now. And we really appreciate you. I love you. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And get out the vote, Georgia. Get please. out the vote, please. I am I am doing my part. I'm doing piggybacking. Everybody weigh less than 185 pounds. I will personally take you down to the poll on my back, right. Sybil. Uh, and George, I, I want to remind folks that Black Voters Matter dot, I'm sorry, Black Voters Matter Fund dot org. And please go to them for more information. All right. All right. Who needs a little love today? Who needs a love sent their way? I want to remind folks that I am going to be in Georgia this weekend, starting Saturday. I'll be in Macon at the Harriet Tubman Museum and the drive-in tailgate. On Sunday, we'll be in Columbus from 1 to 3. Saturday is Macon 3 to 5. Sunday is Columbus 1 to 3 at the Columbus Civic Center. And on Monday, Augusta. For more information, please go to blackvotersmatterfund.org. Thank you, Joe Madison. I love you so much. And I so appreciate you. Oh, it's so good seeing you. You're looking Always. great, too. Oh, Thank so you. Are you. Thank you so All much, right, sir. Baby. Appreciate you. Be, and be safe now. Be 